get our character to jump. When he lands, he plays Montage immediately on the owning client and with certain network lag on the remote clients. But because the locomotion itself also has a network lag, it seems that uh, it is being triggered immediately after uh, landing, just like on the local client. Hello guys, in this episode I'm going to make just a very quick video about network montages. That was one of the requests on the uh, Discord. So currently if you play network mode and you see this guy, when he jumps and lands he is playing a montage, that is additive montage. And the problem is that this montage is currently playing only on the server and only on the owning client. Because it's being triggered by the on landing uh, event inside the character class. So if we go on in here, you can see uh, the trigger for the montage here, event on landed, so it's here. So basically this event only triggers on uh, server and on the owning client. So what we want to do is we want to trigger it in one or another way uh, to replicate to all clients. So one way to do it would be uh, making a custom event and call it uh, play network montage and this event uh, would be triggered on a local client and in this event we will be doing play montage in our schedule mesh and we would push this montage to trigger this play rate starting position and section so everything from this node and once it executes we want to use another event and we would call it server uh, play montage and uh, and this event would be run on server and reliable. So we can run on server only if you are the owning client. So this event can be triggered only internally by the owner of this blueprint. And what it would do, it would do exactly the same. And then it would push forward all of this. And from this point, we want server to also do a multicast so we need another custom event and we would call it uh, multi play montage and this one would be multicast reliable and we'll do the exact same thing as always with all those other events we do not want to push um, schedule mesh because we always want to play it on our schedule mesh inside the character so once we do that, and this is execute on all, reliable, okay, it's fine. So in general, this would work. Uh, and let me show you how to trigger that. So now if we have those mo uh, events, we need to run here, server montage, and we want to push forward uh, all of those same variables that we trigger in the first event. And here, on the server we want to do multi play montage and we want to do the same just push forward all the variables that we had previously established from the owning client so this is network montage and how you would use it typically um, is that on an input let's say Q keyboard Q you want to do network montage so play network montage this is our event that we established here and on this queue we want to play a montage so let's make a montage um, and let's find an animation that would be suitable for that so let's use uh, anim starter pack and let's find reload so we have, for example, this reload pistol uh, it will do. Let's create any montage. Just make this montage. We got only one slot inside our character. 
so we don't have to worry about that it's the default slot we just save it it's a full body montage and we just push it here play rate is one starting position is zero and section is none for our example so we could do one more thing is to not be able to overlap montages we can get our mesh and we can say um oh no not from here oh yeah we need to get anim instance uh, montage playing is any montage playing and we want to trigger only if a montage is not playing okay however when it comes down to networking and uh, network reload montage you obviously would have this a lot more complicated you would actually play montage through an abilities but if you want to do it from blueprints this is the the basics so how it works in multiplayer is that this event could be triggered not by input it could be triggered by the player by just code injection so whatever you allow to insert here like play rate you could for example state four or even a hundred and you would have almost instant reload and if it had any notifications they would actually trigger a lot faster so um, that would be a way to cheat per se uh, because you can use this uh, event from client forcefully without any of those checks in the meantime but when the montage is purely cosmetic like like we have here that's not really a problem so if i hit play now and i go into this window and i press q I actually play reload montage for the pistol and it plays on all realms including the server itself however on the server right now it's playing twice because uh, multicast is actually playing on the server as well so what we can do we can just skip this and connect this uh, straight to multicast uh, because this triggers on the server with zero lag immediately and uh, then it gets replicated to all clients uh, as well so it's also being replicated to our local client so it's really playing twice on local client as well uh, but we don't see that because it's the same montage so it's stopping the previous montage starting the same one and um, in general you don't see any difference so we'll, what we can do here is we can do a, a branch and we can say uh, local is locally controlled doesn't matter if it's a player controlled or not it could be a bot as well so if he is locally controlled, only then he can trigger this event and play a montage locally and then use this multicast. And on this multicast, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say that play it only if this actor is not locally controlled. So we don't play it twice locally. So right now we trigger it on the client, the client plays the montage, then we tell the server to play on all clients and the play on all clients is saying yeah play this montage unless you are a local player because you already played it once so now if we hit play you will not really see much of a difference but in performance wise and uh, how it should be constructed it works a lot better so uh, going back to our landed event and playing this montage on landed we could right now just use play montage uh, well, network montage so the event that we have created already and land no it was jump end okay play rate is one start position zero everything stays the same so we could do it like this but this will actually trigger twice once on the local uh, owning player and once on the server so when it triggers on the owning player, it will actually go through here. It's locally controlled through. It will go through this execution and plays perfectly. And when it triggers on the server, it actually um, goes through this and it goes into false and it doesn't trigger rest of the execution. If we didn't do this branch, it would actually still trigger twice because this execution would play on the server and then do server uh, multicast again 
and play on the server another time and play on local client another time. But because of the time dilatation between the client and the server and the execution time of the event on landed, uh, that would actually break uh, the um, uh, animation on owning client and replay it. And you would see this very small, like one tenth of a second drawback on the animation and restart of the animation. So what you could do, because this event is being called on the server, is that you can do um, authority switch and say that only on the server do multicast multi play montage immediately on the server side. And if it is remote, so it is locally, uh, we don't care about it at all. And this way we can play this, play rate is one. And we, if we, um, if we now hit play, this is the most optimized way to do landing because it's being triggered on the server. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's not being triggered on the server. So this is triggered only on the owning client. That's interesting. So we can do it like this. So we're going back into play montage, network montage. And we pick the montage to jump end. Play rate is one. And okay, that's it. So if we wanted to make it, uh, if it would be important for the server uh, to have fixed play rate that the owning client cannot change, uh, then we would have to not enable this as a variable here, but this would have to be reading a variable on the server side. So here directly from replicated variables. So if we do it right now, even on landed play network montage, we go here, local player true, play montage on the mesh that is pushed from here, server play montage, we go here, server doesn't play montage, it just calls multicast play montage. And this event plays on all server and clients, but we want it to play not on local controlled client. So all the remote clients and the server plays the same montage, gets the same notifications and are in sync. So if we hit play now and we get our character to jump, when he lands, he plays montage immediately on the owning client and with certain network lag on the remote clients. But because the locomotion itself also has a network lag, it seems that uh, it is being triggered immediately after uh, landing, just like on the local client. So they are in perfect sync after all. Thank you for listening and see you guys soon.